Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. I uh, just came on the lot, brand spanking new. This is the Forest River Ozark 1620 BHLE. Brand new floor plan for this year and, and kind of excited about it. Uh, so many people were really hyped over the 20 foot long, five camping, slideless bunkhouse style camper. Ozark said, hey, let us try it. So what you got is 20 feet, one inch. You're looking at less than 3,000 pounds, actually less than 2,900 pounds dry, uh, 3,800 pounds gross, but can sleep up to five. It's a bunk model, um, what, which by the way, Adam, what do you say we start right back here with the bunks? You cool with that? Uh, you got the Teddy Bear Bunk Series style mattresses here. Uh, these are the 72 inches, which is nice. Uh, one adult per, great for the kids, great for the dogs. And you do have, you know, the plush and comfortable uh, teddy bear series matches up here like I mentioned but with these what you want to do is try to get a topper and if you can get one of those breathable toppers for your mattresses inside the RVs it really does help because even though these are comfortable and the fur will do a good job of keeping you warm it's going to keep you warm so just just watch out for that what's going to keep you cool is going to be how about a 15k BTU roof mounted AC in here that's pretty nice got the hvac controls for it over here on the wall i'll show you in a minute but back to the bunks i got my little curtain i got the window down here got the mushroom light for this bunk here no window on the bottom but you do have storage space underneath and of course you got that same uh teddy bear series style mattress there so uh standard slideless bunk set up but to me it almost seems like these bunks are a little bit wider than some of the others I've seen in the single over single. But maybe this, this open air floor plan they decided to have here might just be skewing my perception a little bit. Because what they did, they took counter space and made it a premium inside this unit. You're looking around, you're saying, why is that? Well, for something that's 20 feet, counter space is really a premium. You got the press surface countertop that we have here in the kitchen matte black feature that you're going to find pretty much on everything on the ozark as far as when you're talking about the faucets you got the single basin sink here two burner cooktop there my window and then up above i got my storage i like how they did the european style over here with the european pulls the kind of flat front um, good space up there but instead of just cornering all of this off you got options. So if you want to get a coffee station to put your coffee pot here, if you want to do an air fryer, you want to get a microwave, you got space to do that here. You even get the cool little four and a half cubic foot Everchill. I used to call it the dorm style fridge right here. Nice little addition. TV backer there. Uh, Adam and I were looking at this a little, little earlier. Could you get a 32 incher up here? You maybe if it's flat mounted. Uh, but maybe getting an arm to move around might not be a bad idea either. Cable connection, GFCI uh, right there, and your Everchill HVAC controls. Now, this controls the AC, which is right here. For your heat, you'll notice you got a 30-inch Furion fireplace right there. Roughly 5,000 BTUs of heat, multi-flame setting, multi-light setting. For a space that's only this big, that's going to do a good job of keeping you heated. And as far as your storage goes... Full extension, ball bearing guides right there. I got my fuse box down below, LP O2 detector down there, and my controls right here. This is where I can check my tanks. As far as your tanks, by the way, you got 39 and 30 30 to 39 fresh, dual 30s for your gray and black. Uh, check your battery, uh, cut on your water heater as well as your water pump, and run out your awning all right there. Then for the bathroom, I mean, I got my. Decorative light. Wow, they really brightened up the decor for this year. Okay. I like that too. So this is uh, brighter than what we're used to seeing. I got the high-rise plastic bowl. Put the foot flush right here. Not really cramped. Uh, but it is slideless, so you got to watch out for that. Uh, you know, if you're big like Ian, big boy, nice and fit. Might be a little tight. And for the shower surround... I got my vent and my fan. Uh, I gotta tell you, the 74 inch high ceilings they put in here actually do a good job of giving me the headroom that I need. Shower curtains there, shower nozzle is right here, uh, and the oversized vent and fan right there. It's a little warm out here on the lot, but you know, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, as, as we walk out, Adam, this is a good chance to take a look at this flooring. This is a upgraded one piece linoleum flooring. 
easy to clean, slip resistant, but I really like it because of how bright and you know like light that it is. It really does a good job of brightening this coach up. All right, kitchen, countertop, AC, bunks, bathroom. Do I cover everything right here? Can you do me a favor and get out of my way so I can show everybody the other stuff? Man, get, just get moved. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that. Uh, by the way, if you like camping, you like RVs, do me a favor. Click like, subscribe, and notify. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Plus, you never know. Tips, tricks, RV of your dreams might be waiting on your inbox when you get home. Now, on the campsite, they gave us the flat front storage door up above the kitchen space. On the off-camp side, they're mixing it up a little bit. You still get that European-style pull, which I like, the kind of brushed nickel look, with the shaker-style cabinets. Got space there, good area. And the decor, what they did, I like it. Bright, updated, light and airy. I still have my pleated shades to give me some sun balance as well as giving me some privacy there. But they kind of changed up the floor, the, the flow a little bit. The floor plan is unique, which Ozark is known for. They give you those boutique floor plans. Right here where the booth dinette would usually be, you get a sofa. What's unique about this one, you take the cushions off, there is a flat sleeping space. But if you need the eating spot, your table is right there. Also, storage space is right there. So I, I like how it's it's different, but it's also versatile. In the front cap of the 1620 BHLE right here, I like how they gave me a different design from the roof material to the front cap material, just adding a little bit of that aesthetic. Storage shelf, uh, I do have a little ward space over here, as well as a nightstand. But my queen size bed going east to west, nestled here in the front cap, does have, look at the storage space that's in this. Accessible from the outside, good storage space. Um, I like that a lot. I actually like the, the use of that. So I gotta tell you overall for that entry level RV, those campers are looking to get up off the ground, have their first RV, they want something 20 feet, not going to break the bank, not going to break the tow vehicle because you're looking at three, less than 3,000 pounds dry. Uh, the 1620 BHLE could be what you're looking for. Plus, I got another skylight with vent and fan here. Two plus the AC. So what do you say we just take a quick look around the outside uh, before you check and see if you can get this one? Come on. You got the 26 inch friction hinge door right here to help you exit your 1620 BHLE. Steel fold up steps. Power awning uh, with the adjustable legs there. I like that. Sealed safety windows all the way around. 14 inch steel rim. Fresh water feel here as well as power. Uh, and then around back, what you're gonna see is your rear stabilizer jacks, four x four sewer hose storage. You got backup camera prep. And then on the off camp side, that's where you got your terminations. Now remember you got 39 and dual 30s on this coach. 39 gallon fresh. 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. Plus uh, you got your cable connection back there. You got your storage compartment right there, which is accessible from the bed inside as well. And then on the front, got that manual hand crank, 20 pound LP tank. Go ahead and ask for the second 20 pound LP tank because you also have a LP quick connect on the campsite if you want to bring your grill, as well as your battery box, diamond plated rock guard, uh, and 10 inch frame there, giving you good support for this coach. 20 feet, one inch. And you're looking at 2889 dry, 3,800 pounds gross. So even loaded, this thing's under 3,900 pounds. I gotta tell you, the, the single over single, the twin bunk models became so popular. Everybody hopped on it. It's a great entry level camper, a good way for you to kind of dip your toe into the RV waters, try it out for the first time. It's 20 feet, one inch, and it's less than 3,000 pounds drive but can sleep up to five with some good countertop space missing a couple of camp conveniences but you can easily replace that get yourself an air fryer get yourself a microwave whatever you want to take but for a first time campers camper forest river ozark 1620 bhle for a small family that's active you're going to be doing a lot of stuff outside just need a place to sleep i think you should come check this one out and the best part about it you can pick it up today at your local camping world so leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it what you not like about it because we love hearing from you and once again please click like subscribe and notify so not only does it help me out but the next time we do one of these whether it be a tip trick whatever or an rv you're the first one to get it and you never know your dream rv might be waiting for you when you get home i'm chris young thank you for going with me 
through the Ozark 1620 BHLE. I'll see you soon.